What's up everybody, Brandon here, and if you've done any kind of research for a 4K TV, especially in the budget range, there's no doubt you've come across the TCL Roku TV. The most eye-catching thing about these TVs is the price point. They are considerably more affordable than the competition, like too good to be true affordable. I recently bought a 75 inch 4 series version for just 700 bucks. So let's break down this TV and figure out if it really is too good to be true or if it's actually a pretty good buy. So this is a smart TV, but unlike other smart TVs which come preloaded with some popular apps like YouTube, Netflix, this comes packaged with the entire Roku OS. So it's like having a Roku device, but baked right into your TV. Not only does that free up an HDMI port, but it means you're always going to have access to the most popular apps as Roku is one of the biggest players in the space. So yes, you'll be able to download the latest streaming apps such as Apple TV Plus, Disney Plus, and 4,000 plus other apps. Just for clarification, for those of you who are not as tech savvy, because I know I'm going to get this question in the comments, you can download the apps to access services like Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, but that does not mean you get them for free. You still have to pay and subscribe to those services individually if you haven't already. Now, the TV comes with three HDMI ports, which in my opinion is more than enough, especially considering that you won't need to purchase a streaming device like a Roku, Apple TV, a Chromecast, unless you are a die-hard user of one of those devices. What's cool about this TV is instead of searching for that impossible to find input button on the side of the TV or searching on the remote for where the input button is, all of the HDMI inputs are available on the home screen. So you just open up your TV and you can select which HDMI port you actually want to access, which is pretty nice. And yes, for you old school cable users, there is a spot for your cable TV to pop right in as well. So you're taken care of. You've also got all of the audio ports needed for any kind of speaker setup. And on this TV, it also has an ethernet port. So while you can just connect your TV to your Wi-Fi, you do have the option to plug straight into the internet, giving your streams the fastest speed possible. The TV comes with a Roku remote, where you've got your volume controls on the side, you got your typical navigation buttons on the front, and you got some shortcut buttons here to uh, some popular apps. Now, this remote is for the Series 4 version of the TV, which is what I have. And if you get a higher series of the TV, you're gonna get a nicer remote. It's gonna have stuff like uh, voice control, where you can just use your voice to search for stuff. And I believe it also has the audio uh, jack right here, where you can just plug headphones right in there. This is fantastic if you're watching a movie late at night or playing a video game, and you want it really loud, but you don't wanna keep people up. Uh, really nice feature to have. So this controller definitely is a little bit cheaper feeling compared to this, which is the Roku Ultra remote. So I'm imagining that these other that these other remotes on the higher series TVs will be nicer, just because they probably have more technology packed in. Like this is considerably lighter, the TV one versus just the Roku Ultra. Now those higher series TVs do have other nice features, but if you're really only wanting to get the extra remote features, you're, it's, it's a lot cheaper if you just go and spend a, an extra $100 on a Roku Ultra device, plug that into the back, and that's so much cheaper than spending hundreds of dollars for a higher series. If you're interested in looking at a Roku Ultra, I'll go ahead and link to that below. In terms of sound, it's really like any other TV in this price range. I mean, it doesn't get super loud, but it gets pretty dang loud for me. Uh, so if you're a sound snob or you are using this TV as like your movie room TV and you really want those basses and that, that boom when you're, you know, those action scenes, you're definitely gonna want to invest in a sound bar. In terms of design, overall, I think this TV looks really nice. The bezels are pretty thin and they've got a really nice metal finish that doesn't attract fingerprints easily. If you're worried about having a clunky looking TV in your room, this TV is not going to be a problem for you. Now the big question you're probably wondering, how does the 4K picture actually look? I can't get over how good this TV looks. Now, keep in mind, this is my first 4K TV, so perhaps I'm easily impressed. And I know there's nicer 4Ks out there that do look better, but the differences are so minor that to me, it's just not worth the extra thousand plus dollars for that. Plus, keep in mind, a lot of the entertainment you watch still isn't broadcasting in 4K, such as live TV or other services like Netflix, unless you're paying that extra money to access that 4K content. 
Now, if you watch a lot of YouTube, you will see a huge difference in switching from a regular you know, HD TV to a 4K TV since more and more creators are now shooting in 4K. And the best part is YouTube doesn't charge you extra to watch 4K content, it's just baked into the cake. You may notice that my channel is not 4K and that's because I'm still editing on an old MacBook Pro and 4K footage would just completely obliterate the processor. So yeah, this TV is pretty freaking awesome and I totally 100% believe it's worth every penny. If you're worried about TCL being a brand that you've never really heard of, that the TV might crap out sooner than later, don't be worried. I've been using uh, TCL TVs for a number of years now and I've never run across any issues. Now, if you are watching this and you are seriously consider buying this TV, I highly recommend the wall mount that I got. I picked it up on Amazon for like 100 bucks and it was super easy to install. It's an Echo Gear full motion wall mount, so that means you can pull your TV out, swivel it in any direction. This is super useful if your family room is set up like mine, where you've got people sitting off to the side of your TV. So all you gotta do is just pull it out, angle it, and everybody gets a great view. The mount that I'm using works for any TV between 42 and 80 inches, I believe. So it's a great mount in typical Brandon Hassler fashion. I've already gone ahead and linked to it down below in the description for you. So there you have it, the TCL Roku TV Series 4 is definitely worth the money. I love the 75 inch model that I picked up. That's the TV you're seeing in all of the footage in this video. It's fantastic. If you have questions about this TV, please do not hesitate to drop those questions in the comments and I will do my best to answer every single one of them. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked what you saw, a thumbs up would be much appreciated. I make a variety of tech videos that will either inform or entertain you. So if this is your cup of tea, if that sounds like something you really want, consider subscribing to the channel, hit that notification icon, and that way you won't miss another video. So until next time, hopefully when I'm not sick and sound way better, I'm Brandon Hassler. Thank you for watching and you have a fantastic day.